Good evening. Tonight I am going to be doing my top five tobacco blends for the year 2018. Um, they are the blends that I pretty much always had on hand throughout the year. Uh, So not necessarily my favorite blends, but my mainstay blends. Um, right now I'm smoking uh, the Eric Nault 2018 blend, which is basically whenever I have enough tobacco left, or not enough tobacco left in the tin to pack in a bowl, I just toss it in a jar and smoke it last week of the year or last week and a half or so basically a couple days before Christmas I'll start and smoke it the rest of the year so this year's conglomeration is mostly English blends with a couple aromatics in there um, and a little bit of Virginia's um, mostly comprised of the blends in my rotation here plus you know whatever random others I had enough of so get underway my number five blend of the year is Rattray's 40 Virginia which I mostly smoked in the summer it was a uh, a daily smoke in the summer. Excellent, lovely Virginia. The best one I've had personally. Very high quality stuff. Number four. It's Peterson's Irish Flake. Which I mostly smoked near the beginning of this year in this in the late winter and springtime. Uh, very strong dark fired Kentucky blend. Um, it's dark fired and burly and Virginia. And it's very tasty, but very, very strong. Not quite the strongest I've ever had, but definitely up there. My number three is Peterson's University Flake. Which is an absolutely lovely aromatic I don't know if it's technically considered an aromatic, but it is. It does have a topping on it, so I consider it an aromatic. Uh, very complex, fruity, nutty, uh, slightly alcoholic. It's one of those that you can pack in there, smoke through, and really, really, really like get into. My number two. As you can tell by the size of the jar I have for it, is Haunted Bookshop by Quinell and Deal, which is another daily. That's one's been a daily smoke since I first tried it back in the early spring this year. Uh, basic, it's all get out. You know, there's really nothing happening to it. It's strong, but not too strong. Tasty, but not complex. It's lovely. And my number one tobacco blend of 2018 is Dunhill Early Morning Pipe.
rest in peace. Keep that on hand at all times. Um, pretty much bought my local tobacconist out of it and grabbed his last tin and have just been kind of sitting on it while I work through his bulk stuff. Excellent English English mixture. Excellent. It's uh, mild, so as the name suggests, it's perfect in the morning. I still haven't found a super excellent replacement morning smoke-wise. The only thing that's come close to being as good in the morning is Chelsea Morning by GLPs. Yeah, those are my top five for 2018. This conglomeration blend is actually kind of nice. It's uh, you get something different almost every time you draw on it. I'd suggest giving it a shot. Not my specific blend, obviously, but doing the same practice yourself. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me this year. My first year as a YouTuber. Here's too many more. And I will see you after Christmas. Have a good evening.